What's up, fellow gamers? Kevin J2010 here, giving you a, another quick vlog. Wow, like two before a convention or anything. That's, well, that's different. Anyway, the reason why I'm putting this together is because, shabam, I got a box and my bed sheet, whatever. Don't, don't like that. This box, it's gonna be something pretty cool. Um, for those of you who haven't been watching my Twitter, I actually won an eBay auction not too long ago. I won a few actually, but one of them was this, I'm sure, and I'm ready to open it, and I'm excited. So I'm going to put this down. Hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing as I do this. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. The camera, I need to get a tripod. Anyway. They pack these things so tight, Jesus. And I got my keys out. I just got home from work and I find this on my bed, so I'm pretty excited. I need to get like a cool letter opener or something. Like one of those really cool letter openers. And use it as like a knife. These are things rather than like using my keys. Oh my god, it's open. Maybe, you know what? I think it opens over here. I just get through this tape. There we go. There we go. What does this all say? I'm not sure what came first here, but we'll see. Yeah? Bye. Yeah. Cool. I got my uniform. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. Anyway. Here's my sitting. Whoa, that didn't sound good. On the bed. Anyway. This bed's getting a little old, I might. I just want to say. Come on, open. Ah. Keys. <laughs> Muscle. No, I don't have that. I don't have muscle. Which I think I pulled something in my arm. Like I feel a lot of pain. Not like a lot of pain, but like it hurts to flex the muscle. Oh my god, I just opened. See, like I can understand why they pack it so tightly. Because it obviously makes sense to pack it really tightly. Because the tighter you pack it, the tighter you pack it, like even you pack it tightly to, to fly in a plane and stuff, and I'm pretty sure it's coming from. The, I'm pretty sure it's coming from the states. Let me check the. Uh, yeah, it's coming from Ohio. Ohio. There we go. Now I got that side open. Apparently somehow managed to rip off a piece of paper that inadvertently managed to take all the tape off from the outside. I uh, see what it is. Because I won a few auctions. And I'm going to upload all these together, by the way. I'm going to upload all these together. So this is just part one of all my winnings. I won... Oh man, I, uh, this is getting so nostalgic for this method. A Sega Genesis in box. Model 2 Genesis, mind you, which is what I had as a kid. I had a Model 2 growing up, which is a lot more bam, I will say. New compact design, extensive library of games, built in digital sound, and stereo music synthesizer. I really wish somewhere on here they said, uh, somewhere on here they say something like, uh, 
Genesis do what Nintendo don't. Stuff's been ripped off of it, so I mean, if it's in. Yeah. Oh, I like on the back, it shows like. It says hot games, and here's the cool games you can get on it. You can get uh, Streets of Rage 2, X Men, Echo the Dolphin, which I've never played, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, uh, Chacon, The Forever Man, Jurassic Park, Tasmania, Instruments of Chaos, starring young Indiana Jones, Dinosaurs for Hire, Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master, Batman Returns. World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Shining Force. Now, I know Shining Force is a popular game. Evander Holyfield's Real Deal Boxing. Because if Nintendo had Mike Tyson, I guess that means... See, I was originally thinking I wasn't going to open this, but the box, I'm sure, isn't worth as much as the system, especially since the box is in the best shape. Okay, is this, how's this open? I just want to open it just so I can... Oh, it opens... Oh, it's a slide out. Okay. I'm not going to open it much past this, but... Ah! There it is. The Sega Genesis. Oh my god, that is so cool. That is so cool. Anyway. That is nostalgia coming back to me. Anyway, so... The next part of this will probably come out... It will be like right after this, but it might be days after I record this one. So, um, yeah, thanks thanks for tuning in, and I got Sage Genesis. What's up, fellow gamers? We have another gift. Another package that I ordered. Not really, really say there. So, that's about it. Random check I got. And so let us commence opening this package. Came right after my Sega Genesis. Just one day after. Just one day after. It is August 14th. So that means I got the Genesis on the 13th. And you'll be finding out all about it probably on Twitter the same. If you don't if you don't watch the vlog channel, you'll find it on Twitter. Anyway. Ah, oh, they taped these things so tiny. Wish I had a knife. I don't have a, a P.O. box. Oh, that was, that was easy. Anyway, that was one piece of tape. Anyway, I don't have a P.O. box. So if you guys think it'd, it'd be a cool idea for me to have a P.O. box and you guys want to send me stuff, like a letter opener, it'd be pretty cool. But I'm not going to do it until people start saying they want to send me things. Because I feel if I just, if I just get a P.O. box, if I just get a P.O. box and say, hey, here's my P.O. box. It would kind of be a problem. Or if I needed a P.O. box for other things that I order and stuff all the time like these. So I guess it's not that bad, but... Otherwise, unless I get some fan support saying, hey, would you like a... would you like a thing? And I'd be like, yeah, I would. Because it's not like I, I want stuff from my fans just so I can have stuff from my fans. If people want to send it, and people want to give it to me, I can't really, I don't, I don't want to say no. And I, I kind of, like, it's like, it's like a kid on Christmas. Like, we're all, we're all a little selfish that way, that we all give and receive gifts on Christmas. And, obviously, if you guys feel the need to send me something, I've clearly, I've clearly given you something. Naturally. And I'm not trying, I still feel really bad that you sent me anything. But, I mean... Whatever. And my dog is barking. Jesus. Oh, great. Oh, my God. I'm going to use the keys again. I'm gonna use, actually, I'm going to use a pen. The pen might work better for this. Yeah. This one I didn't get in box. In fact, the Genesis was the only thing I got in box. But, this is very rare. What I got here is very rare and it's actually quite expensive. Oh, 
Wow, this actually feels really nice. So it's definitely used. It's definitely used, but it is rare. And the start button's been worn out. But anyway, it is a controller. Now, if you look at it, it looks like a Super Nintendo controller, but it's got GameCube buttons. Um, it was released by Hori, which is the name of the company, but licensed by Nintendo to basically be um, to come with the Game Boy Player. Well, not to come with, but to uh, the release coincided with the Game Boy Player. And that was the reason for it, was a lot of Game Boy Advance games were um, Super Nintendo games. So they said, hey, we'll release this. Um, and it, they, it wasn't on the market for very long, but now I have it. As you can see, you got an R, and the best thing about it is it has a Z button. Um, the way I record my, um, I like playing bubble wrap, anyway. The way I like playing my Game Boy Player is I actually plug in a Game Boy Advance to it. And the Game Boy Advance has, um, like if you plug the Game Boy Advance in through the Game Boy Advance GameCube adapter that came for, um, games like Four Swords and stuff. It, uh, if you turn it on without a game in it, you can use the Game Boy Advance as controller. Which is good, but there's like this little lag with it, and I don't know. But this is, this is, it feels nice. It does feel like I'm playing an old school one, although you can tell it's definitely been used. It's not in bad condition, like, I'm, I'm sure this is gonna work. It's just, I'm, this is just in, well, like, it, it's used. Like, you can see the L and the start button are faded, Z's fading a little bit. Yeah, Z, not Z. Um, the D-pad's got dirt in it that just builds up over time. The GameCube logo's fading out a little bit. I still feel it was worth the money I spent on it, so whatever. Anyway, so thank you, and I'll talk to you guys later. And finally, one more item. They all came one day after another. What, what are the odds of that? And it's right there. It's got a Dixie logo on it. Which I don't, I'm assuming the guy who packaged it had to find like some random box lying around his house, and that's what he found. So far, this is the easiest one that's been boxed up. So far, we have an AC adapter. Ooh. Oh yes! It does come with. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Now I'm excited. I'm gonna hide these from you while I open them. You might be able to hear what it is, but I mean, I'm gonna hide it. You might have already seen a few of them. So that's not the exciting part. And then we got Pro Axle. From what I remember, I don't know. Here's the part that we were all waiting for. I swear the system had. Uh, RCA cable, but whatever. I'm gonna get out of the bubble wrap. The system I never owned as a child. And you probably already guessed what it is from the, if you saw it or. Yeah, it has. Okay. Oh. Okay. It uses the general RCA, not like. Not like random stuff. Okay, okay. If oh my god, open. Oh, eh. 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 Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. What goes in there? I don't know what goes in there. I mean, it's like a, they were gonna have like a disc system or something. I don't know. Well, I just wanted a Nintendo because I never had one. The set, ports, yay. My next door neighbor had one, and she was my babysitter as a kid. So that was cool. 
pick the, we have the controller in here. Uh, oh man, these controllers feel good. They're small, but they're good. Controller. And what I'm glad I got, I got games. I got Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, which isn't all that great. We got Tetris. That's good. I'm gonna sit the other way. I oh, completely forgot what games I get with this. Some game, never played this. Spy Hunter, don't know what that is. That's cool. Um, oh yeah, Double Dragon. Oh, that's a popular game. Never played that one either though. Um, Turbo Racing, don't know what that is. Might as well get F-Zero instead. We might die to the east. <laughs> and football. Football. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, um, with everything that I've opened in this video, feel free to leave me a comment saying, yo, you should get whatever game for it, because I'm becoming a game collector, and a game collector needs games. So, yeah, that's, that's everything, I believe. Yep. Ah, uh, this is so cool, because I never, I never had one of these. Man, there's probably so much empty space in there. Anyway, thank you. Talk to you guys later.